Welcome everyone. This is Marius Konechne. Today I am speaking with Rob uh, Reich, who is uh, part of Voxter. Can you, Rob, explain what your role is with Voxter? I, uh, as of uh, the 1st of February, uh, formally, while I've been working with the company before that, I am the VP of Title Technology. Okay, so Rob, I'm talking to you because I listened to your interview uh, with a real estate broker and you talked about AOL, attorney opinion letter. And I thought it was, I thought it was great. And I thought my audience is uh, Voxter investors and they, they're fully aware of Voxter AOL. Um, mm -hmm. But if we could, you know, talk about AOL, you know, how it solves the problem, how it saves people, and you have nice presentation. Let's go ahead. So before 1868, there was no title insurance in this country or anywhere. It just didn't exist at, uh, uh, before that time. And in 1868, an attorney um, would issue, or before 1868, attorneys would issue what's called an opinion letter, an attorney opinion letter that would say the title is clear, the property can be transferred uh, or not, and there was a problem that needed to be cleared up. Now, attorneys can make mistakes. Anybody can make a mistake. So in 1868, uh, an attorney had missed a lien on a property and there was a lawsuit. And in that lawsuit, which is actually dismissed, but in that, out of that lawsuit, uh, some uh, uh, folks in real estate went to the Pennsylvania legislature and said, we want to start a title insurance company to protect these things from happening. And, or if they do happen to give the, the buyer and seller protection. So they approved that. And in 1876, the first real estate underwriter was born. Uh, and so from that point forward, slowly, title insurance became a thing in this country. Now, it didn't really pick up steam areas until probably the 50s and the 60s and into the 70s and it became very popular. And uh, there's multiple underwriters out there, as we all know. But AOLs, attorney opinion letters, still ex existed uh, during that time. But they don't have insurance wrapped around them. So title insurance became more popular and more prominent because there was insurance protection should something be missed. Okay, so let me uh, let's talk about then why uh, the the cost of title insurance so in florida for instance where i uh live the average sale price of a home is just slightly less than four hundred thousand, about 377. the premium for a four a three hundred seventy seven thousand dollar home is one thousand nine hundred and twenty dollars and that premium is paid every time that house is bought and sold so that's quite a bit of money. So these premiums are called promulgated, meaning that the state sets the rate and they're the same from title agent to law firm to title agent. So in 2022, which is the last data I have, almost 300,000 single family homes were sold in Florida, generating title insurance premiums of 2.7 billion with a B dollars. That's a lot of money. So Freddie and Fannie have said to, uh, lately that the cost to close on a house is too great for most people. And a big part of that cost is the, uh, is the title insurance premium. So why, is, why are we picking sort of picking on title insurance? Not picking on them, but going after a better deal through AOLs. On average, about 25% of the title insurance premium only goes to the underwriter to pay for the policy. 75% stays with the closing agency, be the title agent or a law firm, as a commission. So 75% of that $1,925 doesn't pay for the title insurance, it pays for the uh, company placing the insurance as a commission. So we think that's a bit high. So uh, if we were going to reduce significantly and quickly 
closing costs for title insurance, we would um, we would lower those premiums. So through attorney opinion letters, the uh, the, the premium is much much less. Uh, so they're not promulgated by the state, and instead of being the insurance, instead of being written by a title insurance underwriter, is written by a top notch and A rated property and casualty company. Now, there's another kind of gotcha with title insurance these days. The uh, loss ratios, the percentage of time that claims are paid uh, is only about four or 5%, depending on where you're looking in the country. And that's very, very low. And if you look at State Farm, Allstate, Progressive, name the PNC carrier you want, and the payout ratios are 40, 50, 60, 70% in some years, where the hurricanes get back, it could be 100%. So we've got one industry that pays very, very few times, very, very little, with a very high premium. And another industry that is used to paying uh, payout ratios of much greater than 5%, in the, let's say, 40 to 60 range, with a much less premium. So it's a better deal all the way around. Uh, in fact, the loss ratio... And there, and there is no... There is no uh, commission associated with AOL? Well, just a few dollars. Yes, there is a small commission, but it's not 75%. The bulk of the premium goes to pay for the insurance product. Yes, the agent can get uh, a small commission. So the loss ratio of most companies and in insurance companies, title insurance companies in the US in, sept in late September, or excuse me, in late 2022, was actually 2.8%, very, very uh, small. So there's actually a state it's too expensive, they don't pay out, and the commissions are too high. And so since 1947, Iowa self-insures all the transactions. So the state insures the transactions for about 150 bucks, depending on how big the prop, how uh, big the transaction is, it could be a little bit higher, but it's very, very cheap. So what we are bringing to the market to kind of sum this up is a much cheaper product, the insured attorney opinion letter. So you heard me say now insured attorney opinion letter. Attorney opinion letters up until now, until recently, were uninsured. So we have, Boxster has um, gotten property and casualty insurance companies, A-rated, to write insurance to go along with the attorney opinion letter that is practically the same as title insurance for a fraction of the cost. Okay, so what does it cost? The cost of a $277,000 uh, property that I just showed you, where it was $1,920 for standard title insurance, is $695 for the insured AOL. I'll give you another uh, data point. A $1 million policy in Florida costs 5,000, over $5,000. Actually with the lender's policy, it's like 5,600 bucks. With Boxster AOL, it's $995, significantly cheap, cheaper. So, uh, this is now available in the market. I am uh, working hard in Florida to educate the masses, the real estate agents, the loan originators, the consumers, that this is now available. We're starting to get some business and, uh, and we hope to get a lot more. Again, AOLs may not be appropriate for every transaction, but for many single family homes, uh, Fannie has approved and that, and that they would buy these um, policies or these transactions, excuse me, um, uh, using the box for insured AOL, or just using the AOLs in general. So a couple of quick FAQs on this. Can we use an AOL in purchasing finance transactions? Yes, you, uh, the finance has a refinance, has a flat fee of 495, no matter how much it is in the of uh, being refied, 495 is the flat fee for, uh, for refinances from zero to three hundred thousand dollars versus to what 
versus can can you give a comparison oh they can range depending on it could be it could be uh, in the mid hundreds to thousands of dollars depending on the on the transaction 695 for purchases if it's below 300 895 between 300 and 650 and 995 between 650 and 1 million we do at the moment have a 1 million dollar cap uh, that's just because the products new with the carriers. They've said, let's walk before we run. So we, we can only go up to a million bucks today, but we, uh, we're we pretty sure that that's going to be uh, relaxed here in the future. Okay, so purchase and refis, it does protect against fraud. Uh, the same protections as you find in a closing protection letter. Uh, it's regulated not by uh, the insurance commissioner, but by the state bar since attorneys are doing the work. The state bar regulates this and there is gap coverage from the time that you uh, sign the contract to the time that you close the gap coverage is there uh, liens are covered when an AOL is produced using the same uh, information as title insurance the same data the same exam in the curative process the results are the same in the claims process we feel like we'll be faster with these uh, carriers that we're using a, uh, a, a invest rated A carriers, uh, they're used to paying uh, claims faster. So you think about if you've had a car accident, how fast typically the claims get paid uh, in homeowners insurance as well. And so we can save the consumer anywhere from 20 to maybe 70 or 80% off of the title insurance premium, which amounts to thousands of dollars in each closing. And remember, title insurance is uh, paid, the premium is paid every time there's a transaction. So if I buy a house today and I sell it six months from now, and that person sells it a year later, that's three times that title insurance is paid at whatever rate uh, to the carrier. So uh, Fannie has approved AOLs and recently has approved uh, as of last year they changed their language to approve uh, uh, PUD, a, uh, PUD transactions which means they're in a HOA or a condo association and we're governed by a third party you said that you're in Florida and you are talking with real estate agents and educating them on this product now ha have they before talking to you have they like what's their reaction have they ever heard about it they haven't they don't know about uh it's funny they don't know about the split the 75 25 split that the underwriters are paying to title insurance companies agencies uh and they don't know what an aol is so i'm educating i speak here in orlando i've been speaking at the uh, orlando um, realtors association at their continuing ed classes and i speak for a few minutes on the insured AOL and they have no idea what it is. So I'm educating them quickly. Uh, I'm putting out lots of information on LinkedIn uh, and through uh, blast emails to some lists that I have to help to educate people. So what kind of feedback do you get? Do you get interest or? or Tremendously or... so, yes. Tremendously so. Uh, and then, so, so how does it work? Let's say a realtor is interested, like do they meet with you? Like how, how does the process go it's typically not uh necessary to meet with me the closing process that's a very good question the closing process is the same so boxster settlement services a full service title agency headquartered in tampa handles the closing and they can do traditional closings with standard title insurance and they now offer uh the insured aol so just like in a regular uh transaction if it's a purchase, you send the contract over to me, that would be fine, uh, or directly to Boxer, but I can handle it for you. We get the file open, open up escrow, and then we handle it, do the closing for you, do the do, do all the work for the real estate agent and, and consumer. Now, is, is Voxter IOL available in any other states than Florida? Everywhere, everywhere. When, when a traditional title insurance is placed, on you know in the transaction the real estate agent doesn't get any of the commission for the traditional title insurance 
No, the title agent does. Right. So if if a real estate agent gets gets involved, gets educated on AOL, is there any any benefit for for the real estate agent? Like, does he get any you know commission or any any incentive to to use AOL? Not commission, although uh, in the future we may do joint ventures with real estate companies, brokerages, which that could benefit the agent depending on how the broker wants to do it. But in the meantime, if I was a real estate agent, I would be pounding on the table saying that I can get their costs reduced at closing and they should hire me. It's leverage over their competition. So in Florida, for instance, the seller chooses title, which means the listing agent usually does. And there's no benefit to the buyer where they close until now. So if I was a buyer's agent, here's what I would do. Uh, with, my, with my buyer's permission, I would, I would approach the seller and I would say, we, uh, the, clo- the premium on this property is going to be $3,000. Uh, we, if you'll let us pick uh, where we close so we can use the insured AOL, we will credit you with a thousand bucks. And uh, so that instead of you paying three thousand, you're only you're you're going to get a thousand. We close with Boxer and we say two, three, four thousand dollars, whatever it is, to the buyer, right? So somebody's got to pay that premium, whether it's the seller or the buyer. If the buyer chooses close uh, where they close. The buyer will pay the premium, but instead of paying the traditional title premium, they can pay the insured AOL premium, which is just pennies. Well, I mean, I can see, I can see how this product is a great tool for the for the agents because it doesn't impact their sales commission, Correct. and also, I mean, they they do care about their client. They do care about you know, lowering the transaction costs and and making sure that the transaction happens. And and by having a cheaper option, they do increase the likelihood of the transaction at closing. All of the good agents that I know, and I've been in front of thousands over the years uh, making presentations, they're all questioning the fees on the closing statement. They question the closing fee. They question the, uh, the survey fee. Uh, you know, is it the right amount or the appraisal fee or any other fee that's on there. Uh, and so uh, real estate agents sometimes will even change title agents because they can get a better deal somewhere else. Well, just the same way, while we're not negotiating on title fees here, ours are already pretty low, uh, we're, we can give you a, a cheaper premium by, by a bunch. So it amounts to the same type of due diligence. All right, fantastic. Are there any final thoughts that you would like to share with my listeners about AOL? Well, I would say that, you know, interest rates, while they appear to be coming down, they're still high compared to what they were. Now, I remember days of 10% and 12%, but they're still high for most people. So if you're looking to save money somewhere in the transaction to help move it along and get it closed, this is the best way to do it today. Best and fast. And, uh, and it will stay uh, that good deal going forward. So you can just keep using it and using it and using it. So, uh, and if there are questions about that, uh, you, can, you can reach out to me, robert.reich, R-E-I-C-H, at boxter.com. And boxter is V, as in Victor, O-X-T-U-R. Reach out to me and be happy to talk to you.